Welcome, I'm Ashley Clark with Earthkeeper Yoga and I invite you to a gentle yoga practice. So I'm here in Birmingham, Alabama, and I am in a different location than what you're used to seeing me in, but there's some exciting things going on behind the scenes, and I can't wait to share those with you. So I invite you to subscribe here so that you can get those important announcements, as well as following along on social media. I'm on both Instagram and Facebook as Earthkeeper Yoga, and my website is earthkeeperyoga.com. So I invite you to just follow along with me. Also, be sure to leave any comments, anything that might be of interest so that I can know what's going on with you. What are you looking for? What are you struggling with? Where do you feel like you're thriving? I wanna hear those things too. So leave me some comments, let me know how you are, and let me know how this class particularly has landed for you. So for today's class, it will be a teachable class. So I'll be teaching you more about how to make yoga more accessible for you, so for your body and ways in which you move throughout your day. So we're gonna be focusing on functional movement within our yoga practice and how we can take what we learn and experience right here out into our daily lives because yoga isn't supposed to just be experienced on the mat. For today's class, I invite you to have a couple of blocks as well as your trusty blanket or beach towel, small pillow, whatever you need so that you can be comfortable. Grab what you need and I'll meet you right here on the mat. All right, as we get started today, I'm gonna invite you to go ahead and grab your blocks. And I'm gonna show you a few different ways that you can use these blocks to sit and create more space for the hips. I taught a class the other day and a few of the women could not get to a place where they felt like they could really be comfortable in a seated position. So I wanna show you that. So I've stacked these blocks right on top of each other and then I'm just gonna come sit on it. So I'm gonna let my tailbone come and rest right on the block. That's gonna lift my hips up above my knees. Now I could even take my blanket or my beach towel, pillow, whatever I have, and let my ankles cross right there so that there's a little cushion underneath the knees or under the ankles rather. So once you get situated, you can feel as if the legs kind of shift forward, the hips shift forward just a bit, and it really helps elongate the spine. Why is a long spine so important? Well, when we create that space through the spine, we create more space for the breath to travel. So I'm gonna invite you to stack your blocks, sit your booty down, put that blanket or pillow underneath the ankles just so there's a little cushion, make sure you feel stable, and we're gonna go ahead and just let the hands rest gently in the lap. See if you can press the tailbone into the blocks, let the shoulders settle just a little bit, and find some length from the chin to the shoulders. So really creating some space. You should feel that in the back of the neck as well, as well, <laughs> as well. So go ahead and let those hands rest. Close the eyes or have that soft gaze, and give yourself a letting go breath. So in through the nose, sigh it out through the mouth. And continue to just let those deep breaths move in and out through your body, moving through your nose. And the shoulders begin to relax. The tension moves out of the neck and the shoulders. Release any tension in the legs. Inviting some softness into your physical body. Allowing the jaw to soften right there at the brow bone. Let everything go. Awareness on the breath. Feel the belly expand. Feel the breath moving into the ribs. 
up to the heart as the breath deepens. And feel everything just kind of sink back down on the exhale. And give yourself four more nice big deep breaths. Beautiful. Begin to flutter your eyes back open and just notice the difference and the calm that is now available for you. So how can you take that off the mat? Anytime you're feeling stressed, I don't suggest closing your eyes when you're driving, but whenever you're having a moment of tension and stress and strain and struggle, close the eyes, find the soft gaze and allow yourself to have that cleansing breath to begin, and then just keep the breath in and out through the nose and see what is available to you. Take it anywhere you need it to go. All right, so we've got a little bit of opening that's going on in the hips, but it's much more gentle since the hips are over the knees. Let those hands stay right on those legs. Keep the length through the spine, space right there between chin and shoulders, and we're just going to begin to move our head side to side. So take an inhale, look over towards your right. Exhale, come through center, look over to your left. Move just like this. In the world that we live in, this digital age, we're always looking down. We lose mobility in the neck to be able to see from side to side, tuning in to what's there for us to witness, to create a little wonder. Some tension breaking up in the low neck. We're just getting a little bit more mobility through the upper spine. Slowly bring the nose back forward so you can see me. And now we're going to look up. So again, we spend so much time looking down. You can feel that. Just give yourself a couple of times of sending the head down towards your legs and see how that feels. You can feel the upper back arching just a little bit. But we've become so accustomed to moving our bodies in this way, it falls into a natural pattern, whether or not it's good for us. Give it one more. Let's look up. So go ahead and turn your nose back towards that right shoulder and begin to send the gaze up towards the ceiling or the sky. Circling over towards the left and then inhale, send the gaze back up, rainbow, over to the right. Let's move just like this. Inhales, one direction. Pausing on one side and then exhale, let the breath go, coming through center. Pausing at the end of the exhale and continuing to move in this way. Keep it going. We'll go three more complete rounds. Beautiful. Bring that nose back towards center. Send the right ear over to the right shoulder. Feeling into that left side of the neck. Bring the head back to center. And then we'll send the ear over to the left. Bring the neck back to center. How do you feel now? How does it feel just right there 
from right at your collarbones all the way up to the crown of your head. That's yoga, and that's what we need in our daily lives. Let's continue to explore. So we're going to send the legs out long in front. And if that's uncomfortable to have all of that weight kind of bowing on the knees, take your blanket, roll it up, and put it as just a little prop right behind the kneecaps. Beautiful. Send the arms out front, and then intentionally bring those shoulders back in line with the upper body. You're going to feel the shoulder blades come together. Now notice if there's a big curve in the low back. Press the tailbone into the blocks, and then we're going to inhale and move forward. There's a stretch through the hamstrings. Exhale, bring it back. So right now we're stretching through the low body, low back body. We're stretching through the low back. But we're also creating some muscle resilience and strength in the middle back. So when we move through our daily lives, sometimes we start to have back trouble. And it's because we move in a way that is not how we should. So right now I'm keeping a really long spine. I'm not rounding the back. And I'm moving in a way that allows my strength to move in my core and in the middle of my back. Let's give it one more. Beautiful. Let the hands relax. Move your blanket out of the way and then slowly start to come down off your blocks. Other things that we can do here is I'm going to take the two blocks and I'm going to put them right where I can sit on, on but keep the feet back behind me. Let the hands rest gently on the lap. We're going to move through some seated cat-cow. So find the long spine, press the tailbone into the back of the blocks, engaging a little bit through the center of your body. Take an inhale, send the belly button forward, lift the gaze towards the sky. Big arch in the back. And then exhale, round it in, let the chin come down towards the chest. Really roll the back. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, round it in. And keep the breath in and out through the nose. Two more. Nice long spine. Reach through the crown of the head. Give yourself a letting go breath. Beautiful. So when you're in a yoga class and the teacher invites you to come to table, if that doesn't work in your body, you can do this movement and find the same opening without putting any stress or strain on your wrists. So I do want to focus on wrists for a moment. Let me face towards you. We don't normally put a lot of weight on our hands unless we're in a yoga class, right? <clears throat> or if we're on the floor and we need to help get ourselves up. So in just a moment, we're going to move through some of that. But first, I want to show and give some attention to your hands. So let's just send those palms out. Extend the arms long, but keep the joints of the elbows soft. Don't worry if the shoulders are not in line with the upper body. Shine those palms towards me. And then send the palm of the hand down, stretching through the back of the hand. Inhale, lift the fingers up towards the sky. Shine those palms towards me. And then exhale, send the palms down. The fingers naturally come together as you send the palm down. That's fine. Just keep moving just like that. Last one. 
Beautiful. Bend the elbows even more. Shake out the wrists. Beautiful. All right, come off your blocks. You can move those out of the way for just a bit, and you won't need your uh, blanket or anything right now as well. So we're gonna roll down onto our backs. We're gonna have those knees bent. We're gonna check that the chin is in line with the shoulders. All right, we're gonna send the arms out into a T. And then I'm gonna invite you to take that left arm bend the elbow and let the back of the palm come underneath your low back so there's a natural space there i'm just inviting you to put your hand there so basically what's going to happen is you're going to put your palm right at the base of the the spine it's right here just so you can see on this side <clears throat> and that's going to create a little bit of support so use the back of your head to press into the mat and really lift the shoulders up and then let them sink back down relax through the shoulders we're gonna keep that left foot planted just like it is, but we're gonna extend the right leg long. Take an inhale, reach the head up as the right arm reaches towards the sky and the right leg lifts up. That left hand supports the low back. Exhale, lower back down. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, lower down. Give it a few more rounds. And so we're creating some strength in the core. We're doing some motor control. And we're protecting the low back. Notice if you're trying to clench your teeth. Give it one more. Beautiful. Lowering with control. Remove that left hand from behind your back. Let it come back into that wide T and then bend that right knee, bringing the right sole of the foot to the floor. Shimmy the feet to the outside edges, outside edges of feet, even with outside edges of mat. Take an inhale and let those knees fall over to the right. Feel the stretch through the outside of the left hip, breathe. Fill that belly. Give it one more breath. Beautiful. Bring the knees back up towards the sky and shimmy the inside of the legs until they touch. Then let the knees fall over to the right. Take this left hand all the way through center towards the sky and then over to the left. We're gonna bring this left palm down to the floor and use it to press ourselves up. Voila. Now we're gonna roll on the booty and just do the whole thing on the other side, but I'm trying to show you functional movement and how you can bring yourself up off the floor in between. All right, arms come into the T. Bend the knees. This time we'll bend that right elbow, bring it under, bring the palm under the low back, and then let that low back collapse right on top of that hand chin in line with the shoulders. Extend the left leg long down your mat. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. And so we're moving slowly and controlled here. We're not trying to throw that leg up towards the sky. We're lifting while the leg is engaged. Reaching the fingertips up towards the sky. You're gonna feel this in your neck too, right at the low jaw. And give it two more. Beautiful, relax. 
Bring the arms into the T. Bend the left knee. Show me the outside edges of your feet to the outside edges of the mat. Take an inhale. And then exhale those legs over to the left. Stretch through the outside of the right hip. Release that left leg if you'd like. Breathe a few breaths here. Beautiful. Bring the knees back up towards the sky. Shimmy the inside of the feet together. Let the knees drop over to the left, rolling onto the left side. Right arm reaches towards the sky and then over to the left side, pressing up and bringing yourself back up. We're going to go right back down to the other side. All right, this next one's one of my favorites. <clears throat> Bend the left knee sole of the foot on the mat. Take the right leg and bring it off your mat and over towards like a 45 degree angle. And then let the right hand, right arm extend to a 45 degree angle off your mat as well. Take that left arm up towards the sky and then settle that left shoulder back in line with the upper body. In just a moment, we're gonna take an inhale and reach this left hand across and feel as if someone's trying to pull us up. So we've got an imaginary human right there just helping us lift up, okay? So here we go. We're gonna inhale the arm over, lift the upper body, feel the crunch through the center, and then exhale, lower back down. Move just like that. Inhale over to the left, or to the right rather, sorry. And come on back down. Keep moving just like that. And begin to explore the movement in each round. Moving slowly and controlled. Nice and fluid. Notice any tension building in the jaw. And give it one more. Beautiful. Let this left arm fall all the way out into a T on the left hand side. Release any tension through the body. And then turn the nose towards the left shoulder. Relax the head. Relax the shoulders. Breathe. Bring the nose back up towards center. Let's do the other side. So bring that right knee back onto the, up towards the sky, right foot on the mat. Send the left leg out to that 45 degrees. Send the left hand down, so it's at 45 degrees. And send this right arm up towards the sky with the shoulder sinking down in line with the upper body. Here we go, inhale, reach over. And exhale, release. So much to explore there. What's going on in the core? What's going on in the shoulder? What's happening in the shoulder blade? What's happening in the jaw? happening with the breath. Give it two more. Last one. Lowering with control. Letting that right hand come into a nice big wide T. Left hand comes into a T. Relax through the upper body and then send the nose over towards the right shoulder and relax. Good. 
Beautiful. Go ahead and bring the nose back up towards center. Bring the left foot back to the mat and extend that right leg back to that 45 degrees. Right arm back to 45 degrees that matches the foot. Left arm rises up towards the sky and then the left shoulder drops. This time we're gonna take that movement just a little bit further. So we're gonna inhale over to the left and then as we start to lift up, see if we can rise up onto the elbow and reach the left hand away even further and then we'll come back down. So things you wanna be aware of is press the right foot into the floor because it wants to lift up. If you saw, mine did. If it does, it's fine, but we're gonna work on controlling that. So here we go, inhale, lift, 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 press into the elbow and reach. Lower back down. Move with your breath. Give it one more. And then hold, reaching the fingertips away. Find space in the back of the neck. Reach, reach, reach. Beautiful. So if you needed to lift up from here, you could bend this right knee, let it come underneath the left leg, let this left hand come down to the floor, and press yourself up into a table. All right, we're gonna come back down. I'm gonna spin around. Let's send that left leg long, left hand to 45 degrees, right arm up towards the sky. Here we go. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. I forgot to tell you to bend the right knee, so make sure you do that. Right foot is on the mat. And pull that left elbow back towards the upper body if you need it for stability. Again, a poor action going today, aren't we? Unfortunately, we need that to move our bodies functionally, but we overlook the strength that we need in the upper body, up the head, all of it. Hold this one. Reach, reach, reach. Now see what would happen if you bend that left knee, bring that left foot right interlaced behind that right ankle, let the right hand come down to the floor. Bring those hands both to the floor and slowly start to push yourself into a table. Beautiful. So once you get into this table, and you could put that blanket under your knees, but you don't need to. If you're in table and you need to get up from here, you don't have to hurt you. Bring the right leg through. Bring one hand to the right knee and begin to press yourself up. Let's practice that again. Bring the right knee through. Bring one hand to the knee and press yourself up. Do it again. Beautiful. Let's try the other side. Bring the left knee through. Put the left hand on the knee. Let yourself come up. Practice two more times. Need my mic packed just so there's less of a chance of it getting all fuzzy for you. Beautiful. One more.
Now, what do you do when you get here if you need help? You can put the right hand back down on the floor or keep it there to begin with. Curl the toes on the opposite leg and bring yourself up. Move just like that, changing side to side. Curl toes, lift up. Give yourself a child's pose. Rest where you need to. Knees can come wide to support you. Last breath. Slowly bring yourself into that table, and I'm going to give you a choice. But before you lift and bring yourself up to standing, bring a block right where you can get to it. So kick one of your legs through so that you come to the knee. Bring yourself up. What do you need here? All right, so the next thing I want to practice is moving through if we drop our keys or whatever. I'm going to make it super easy to start, so I'm going to put the block on the tallest setting, and I'm going to show you how we could lift the keys off the floor. Whenever we lift up out of a kneeling position, I like to cue that we come up on an exhale. I think it lessens the amount of um, possibility that you could feel lightheaded when you lift up. So what we're going to do is move the body weight over to the left side of the body. You can even keep your hands on your hips. But we're going to lift the right foot off the floor, let it kick back behind us, reach down for your block, come up. Move over to the right side. Lift the left foot, drop the block, come up. Move from side to side. Lifting on the exhale. So part of this is noticing where you feel stable on the whole foot. Keep moving. Let's do one more full round. Notice if you, <laughs> I keep moving my block way over. Beautiful. Bring the hands to the heart, bow chin to chest. Give yourself a letting go breath. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to invite you to come down in any way that serves. Hopefully you have a few things that you're going to be able to use. We're going to come all the way down onto our backs. Keep those knees bent. 
and that helps with any pressure on the low back. Bring the arms into a T. Take an inhale. Let it go. Allow everything that we've just done to just assimilate into your muscle memory. Let the breath begin to calm. Keep the breath in and out through the nose. Close the eyes if you haven't already. Let the body soften into the mat and rest. Slowly begin to bring some awareness back into the space. Make any small movements that would feel good in the body with the fingers and the toes, wrists and ankles. Reach your arms up over your head. Give yourself a full body stretch, extending those legs long down the mat if that feels okay in your body. And then bend those knees again. Bring the insides of the legs to touch. Slowly start to move on to one side or the other. Let the upper arm come to the floor and push yourself up just like we practiced and then decide how you'd like to sit for closing. So if that's two blocks that you sit the booty on or two blocks that you let kind of go through the center of your body. Let the hands rest right there in the lap. Lengthen through the spine. Let's take one more letting go breath together. Inhale deep. Exhale, let it go. May your days be filled with wonder. Wonder at the marvel that your body can do. Gratitude for practicing with me today. Namaste.